What's going on, everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you a look at Ruined King, a League of Legends story, which is a game that just recently released, yesterday, in fact, from the time of this video. And Ruined King is being published by Riot Forge. So if you're unaware, Riot Forge is a third-party publishing company that is under the umbrella of Riot Games. The sole purpose of Riot Forge is to work with developers to publish games for the League of Legends universe. And yesterday, they launched two of said games, Ruined King and another game which is like a rhythm platformer called the Hextech something or another. That one honestly is not very interesting to me and so I chose not to cover it at all, but Ruin King however looks very interesting. And it seems to take the form of a JRPG for the most part. So you're going to be exploring a world, specifically an area called Bilgewater, and you're going to be leading a party of League of Legends champions. Now I don't have a full list, I believe there's supposed to be like 15 or 20 champions in the game, not necessarily as playable people but just in general and I'm not familiar enough with League of Legends to really do that justice, but you should be able to see some of the main characters here in the background. But as I mentioned, the game has a bit of a JRPG format to it, meaning that it's going to be turn-based battles, however you're going to run into enemies while you're exploring, and then that'll bring you to a battle stage, much in the manner that Final Fantasy tends to do. Now, combat itself is a turn-based system, and for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. Your champions are going to get instant and lane abilities. Instant can just be used as soon as it's your turn. They don't cost anything to use. Lane abilities cost mana, but they also take time to cast or whatever, so you're going to see this lane system down on the bottom here. Clicking lane abilities will affect your place in the turn order, which is also visible in the lanes down here. Now the lanes themselves don't actually affect literal lanes, however you can cast your abilities from the three different lanes available, that being a speed, balance, or power. And depending on which lane you cast your ability in, it will affect the turn order to a greater or lesser degree. So just kind of an interesting mechanic to add to the turn-based variety a little bit there. Moreover, there's also hazards and things that you can potentially be in when you start a battle, which will also add hazards to the turn order, which is pretty cool. The basic setup for the story seems to be that you're in Bilgewater. You're a pirate. Your main character, at least, seems to be Misfortune, which is one of the characters from the game. But you kind of start the game by playing through several of the main champions but Misfortune is the first one, and there seems to be a very heavy pirate theme, and especially, again, the story set up here, is you need to protect Bilgewater from the harrowing, which is some sort of event that is quite potentially going to kill everyone, it would seem, so kind of your standard apocalypse that we need to fight type of deal. And from the cinematic we see at the beginning of the game, this seems to have something to do with the Ruined King from the title here. Kind of looking forward to seeing how that winds up playing out, but beyond that, again, very JRPG structure. You're going to build your team of party members, you're going to explore the world, you're going to get side quests, you're going to get main quests, turn-based battles in between. But I will say the thing I am most surprised about with this game is the quality, to be honest with you. First of all, the art direction is very striking, which makes more sense when I realized one of the creators behind uh, Darksiders was actually working on the project as well. It also seems like it's fully voice acted, which is nice. There are also like full inventory systems, so you'll be equipping armor and weapons and things to your characters. Again, very much so JRPG in that regard. So overall, just a very cool looking game which again kind of surprised me just by its quality. Honestly, I'm super busy right now with other games that I had already planned on playing through all the way, but when I get a chance, I do plan on going through this game and just kind of giving it a, a full run through. Just because when I heard that it was a League of Legends expansion thing, my gut instinct was, oh, it's just a spin-off game and it might be not as high quality as you might imagine. But what I've played was genuinely pleasantly surprising, so I wanted to share it with you all, my viewers. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do decide to check it out, by all means, let me know down below. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.